What is up guys? It is Coaster Watch here and today I just got last ride of the night on that bad boy right there. That is Kumba at Bush Gardens Tampa. I'm at Bush Gardens Tampa for the first time in a couple of months now. Tonight was just absolutely crazy. You know, the visit started out just kind of sad. And I was just kind of like alone and stuff. And then as the night went on, everything just got better and better and better. And that marathon at Kumba, that was the most I've ever ridden it in one day. Eight times in today. I think I got seven total at this night marathon. Oh my goodness, absolutely insane ride. That thing is just bonkers, bro. That thing is just straight meat and potatoes. Oh my goodness. So anyways, um, just what a crazy night. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about my day here just a little bit. So it all started, um, I got here around, uh, 4.30, I believe. Um, and I started out with Montu and, you know, on Cheetah hunted a white wait, um, Cobra's Chris had a wait. I got on Montu, you know, I was waiting for back rolls. It was like a 15 minute station wait, which I mean, you know, Montu's ops aren't ever necessarily the fastest out there. So, you know, I rode Montu. I was in line for the back row, whatever. And then, uh, something interesting happened. So, okay, I don't know where I'm going. So, you know, I was like, I was putting my stuff away and I come to return to my seat, my back right seat, which is the seat I always ride, or back left. I always try to get a back edge seat. And someone was sitting in my seat, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe they'll move, right? No, they looked at me, and they said, oh, oops, sorry, honey. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, th this is something that, like, a freaking nine-year-old would do. And, like, I don't know. It just really, really bothered me. So I went to the ride operator. I was like, someone just sat in my seat, and he was just like, oh, do you want to go to row six? And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So I rode Montu in row six on the right side, and that was one of my weaker rides on it. So, I don't know. I'm a little mad at that coaster. Then when I went to go get back in line, it was actually closed. So, and also this big bad boy was closed again. I was trying to get a night ride on this thing. I've never gotten a night ride on it before, but it was closed. So, that's whatever. See, <laughs> the park's dead. What the freak? I've never seen the park this dead before. This is kind of weird. Um, I'm going to do Pantopia right now. So, um, then I go to ride... Um, I think I went to ride Kumba next. Got a back row ride on Kumba. Usual the usual good ride on Kumba. And then I went to Sheik row. That was kind of a um kind of an interesting experience. I rode in the front row. You know, it was one of my first front row rides in a good amount of time. And that actually surprised the crap out of me. Sheik row in the front row is amazing. That thing definitely moved up in my rankings. I honestly think that is far better than Bow Raven now. Um there's so much freedom. I felt a lot more. It felt forceful. Um I even felt some hang time in there. It was really really cool and I was sitting on the left edge so I definitely rec recommend you get the left edge. It's going to be kind of hard since they're eight across, but try riding it a few times. Try to either get that front left or back left edge. I prefer the front left edge. And if you get some room, it's going to be an amazing ride. Um, yeah, Sheik was running well today. Um, and what was next? So, and then after I rode Sheik, I got on Cobra's Curse. And again, that was one of the best rides I've ever had on that thing. So much room. That was the most room I've ever had. Cobra's Curse in forever. I have like at least a good like five inches of room or six inches of room. Remi reminded me of some of my Millennium Force rides. It was absolutely crazy. The shade didn't come down at all. It was excellent. Best ride I've ever gotten on Cobra's Curse. I felt so much like since the restraint wasn't there, like some of the turns and transitions were actually pretty decent. Like that coaster had some decent transitions for being a family coaster. That's probably a top three, probably this my second favorite family coaster in Florida just behind Expedition Everest, if you even consider that a family coaster. Um, I think it was excellent. Cheetah Hunt, front row, um, well second row. I got stapled, but excellent ride. Um, I can definitely feel, when people say this thing is airtime, I can see where they're coming from. It has like that part going up like the treetop area, it has like the drop, I guess. It has this one hill in the beginning of the ride. Hang time was great. It has this one like main ejector hill. It kind of reminds me of like Maverick's ejector hill, but not as good. Um, and like there's this other twisted hill towards the end that's pretty okay. And then um, nightfall comes and I went to Scorpion. I got a stapled ride on that. It was pretty bad. I walked over to Shikra to try to get a night ride on Shikra and it did not do me well. Um, yeah, uh, because it was the longest wait I've seen all day. So, and then we went out to Kumba to get our final night marathon. That was my first ever true marathon on Kumba. That was my first ever night rides on Kumba absolutely relentless that thing is staying in my top five just 
wow, that thing is crazy. I bet if I visited, like, there's probably some parks out there. Like, there's probably a lot of parks out there. Don't even have a coaster as good as Kumba, in my opinion. But that thing just ran crazy well tonight. Um, absolutely love that thing. Um, yeah, so overall, it's been rather um, an interesting day. I'm going to keep vlogging as I walk towards the front of the park because this area is so dead. Um, you know, this park is just beautiful. Um, you know, I haven't been here in like over two months now. I just kind of forget how beautiful this park is. Um, definitely one of the most beautiful I've visited outside of Disney. Definitely probably the most beautiful park I've visited. Um, just great night. You can see the stars and everything. Not a whole lot of lights in this area. It's just great. Um, and I ate the Zambia Steakhouse again. Um, I haven't really eaten here again in a while. And again, um, the food here is amazing. Um, the staff have been overall, they've been okay. They're not my favorite park staff ever, to be completely honest with you. Um, and like, some of the ride operators in Kumba were freaking awesome. My last ride on Kumba, I just had inches of room. That's probably like some of the most room I've had with the B&M over the shoulder restraint. Like, that was absolutely crazy. She could clearly tell I had room, and she was just like, oh, I'm just going to pull your seatbelt and walk away. That was just absolutely wicked. Um, yeah, but I just had an amazing time here today. Even though I was only here for five hours, I got, what, I got two rides on Chikra, I got a ride on all the other major coasters, and I got eight rides on Kumba total. I rode in different seats for um, Kumba, all sorts of different seats. I did back right a few times, back left. I believe I got two front row rides, if I'm not mistaken. I think maybe it was only one. I don't really remember, but um, time was just an excellent night. And you know, you know, the summer nights festival is over. I think tomorrow is an official summer nights where like the lights are out and stuff. Um, but I think this is summer nights is coming to a close. I, mean, I, I know I was going to meet a few of you, like Shane and Itai, tomorrow. Um, however, I couldn't do it. Um, we have like family plans tomorrow, but um, this park is great. I absolutely love it. It's one of my all-time favorite B&Ms, and you know, I think besides Montu, I think all of these coasters, I think they're going to move up a little bit on my rankings now. I, I feel like I'm way too concerned about rankings than I should be, like a lot more concerned about rankings than I should be. I don't know, but honestly... Um, I don't know, I just like to rank things, it's pretty fun. So, um, I didn't really do a whole lot of, didn't really grab a whole lot of footage. I didn't get as much as I would have liked to. Um, but, you know, I, I, I rode everything that I wanted to ride. I got some good footage of the front of the park, some good stuff, some really good stuff at Cheetah Hunt. I might, re I might release that tomorrow. Got some stuff of Montu. Um, didn't really get a whole lot else, unfortunately, but, um, And, and, you know, this place during the night, it's a little dark, um, which is great for some good night rides. Kumba had an excellent night ride. Montu has a new light package, which is really cool. Cheetah Hunt, pitch dark if you're into that. I'm pretty sure Shiko is pitch dark as well. I didn't get to either of those at night. I didn't get to Montu at night either. I was in line and someone threw up and they're like, it's going to be 15 minutes. And I was like, oh, I have other things to ride. So I just kind of let Montu go. So that'll be the one thing that I have to get to next time as well as Falcon's Fury, as well as getting footage for you guys. Because next time I come here, I'm going to try to make it an all-day sort of deal. Um, and you know, this is probably going to be the last opportunity I have. This is probably going to be the last opportunity I have to visit this park at night for a really good amount of time. So, I don't know, guys. But hopefully, I think I'm going to wrap it up right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be sure to turn in for more videos on Coaster Watch. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all later. Peace out.